topic is the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. And we have with us Dr. Al Hadid from Tennessee State University and Dr. Lewis Baldwin from uh, Vanderbilt University. And of course, uh, Dr. Baldwin, uh, mm -hmm. we promised that we'd give you an opportunity to sort of uh, paint the conditions for, uh, that surrounded the assassination yeah, of Dr. Uh, Dr. King. King. Yeah, um, uh, Dr. Al Hadid was talking about the climate that sort of preceded the assassination of Malcolm X. Uh, the climate that led to King's assassination, I think, is quite interesting. Mm -hmm. Uh, he had uh, dealt with the issues of basic constitutional rights up to 1964. Mm -hmm. uh, 1965, the struggle for political enfranchisement. Uh, after the Selma campaign, Dr. King announced that the movement was moving into another phase, mm -hmm. which was economic justice and international peace. Mm -hmm. And he began to attack uh, capitalism uh, greater than, to a greater extent than previously. Mm -hmm. uh, he began to talk about uh, a peace in Vietnam, uh, and began to attack America for her violence abroad mm -hmm. in the form of the Vietnam War. And I think as he addressed these issues and became a part of the anti-war movement uh, and made the call for economic empowerment, a restructuring of the capitalistic mm -hmm. system, as he got involved in this, I think the ruling elite uh, mm -hmm. conspired to silence him. Mm -hmm. uh, he was perceived as a threat mm -hmm. to the country uh, he was perceived as a traitor by many, uh, and as he called for a, a, a restructuring of the economic system, uh, a redistribution of wealth and resources mm -hmm. in the society, many of the liberals who uh, had followed him previously began mm -hmm. to back away. Mm -hmm. um, Jews began to um, back away from the movement, uh, and I think that helped create the climate, his call for economic justice mm -hmm. and his involvement in the international peace movement. Mm -hmm. Very good. And of course, Dr. Aladdin, uh, with mm -hmm. the assassination of uh, Malcolm X, uh, you've indicated not only the climate, but uh, what are some of the events that uh, you believe important that eventually led up to his assassination? I mean, how did that happen? Mm -hmm. Well, one thing you have to look at is the level of petty jealousy that was taking place inside of the Nation of Islam. Mm -hmm. And also the fact that two of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's sons, Wallace Muhammad and Akbar Muhammad, mm -hmm. were trying to move the Nation of Islam toward mainstream or mm -hmm. Sunni Islam. So in a certain way, and Malcolm was a part of that, mm -hmm. uh, so in a certain way you had a revolution within a revolution. Mm -hmm. You had an organization that uh, was preaching a type of um, uh, black uh, religious nationalism mm -hmm. that was not embraced by mainstream Muslims. Mm -hmm. Then you had three people inside of the organization mm -hmm. was trying to line it up with mainstream Islam. Mm -hmm. So when Malcolm was uh, sort of suspended from the organization, he knew at that point that he was not going to be admitted back mm -hmm. in. So he established his own community. Uh, he established the Muslim Mosque Incorporated mm -hmm. in March of 1964. Then uh, in April of that same year, he made the pilgrimage to Mecca to legitimize his approach to mm -hmm. Islam. And then when he uh, traveled through Africa, uh, especially in Ghana, uh, he noticed that the people there were just expatriates, but they weren't connecting with the struggle mm -hmm. inside of the United States in terms of African Americans. So he formed a second organization, the Organization of Afro-American Unity. And so like Dr. King, once he started dealing with international issues, mm -hmm. once he started critiquing capitalism mm -hmm. and moving the struggle more toward class rather than race, mm -hmm. that's the point at which he became mm -hmm. a threat to the movement. Mm -hmm. And so when he came back inside of the United States, he was working to establish rapprochement with the civil rights movement. Mm -hmm. And as he moved more toward mainstream Islam, he became more acceptable mm -hmm. to the people in the civil rights movement. Mm -hmm. And he kept reaching out for Dr. King. But because of uh, forces of history or circumstances of history, they weren't actually able to form mm -hmm. a coalition between the SCLC, Southern Christian Leadership Conference, and the Organization of Afro-American Unity. Mm -hmm. But they met once in uh, the Capitol in Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. when the debates of the Civil Rights mm -hmm. um, Bill was being uh, conducted. Mm -hmm. And I understand, too, that there were some telephone calls mm -hmm. between the two of them. This is reported in Coretta Scott King's book, mm -hmm. My Life with Martin Luther King. Mm -hmm. And uh, so when he went to Selma on the occasion of the uh, Selma to Montgomery March, which had to do with the voting's right, mm -hmm to meet Dr. King. At that time, Dr. King was in jail. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, he was not able to meet him. And he had, of course, to leave. He went to uh, Europe when he came back. Shortly after that, he was assassinated, mm -hmm. uh, February 21st, um, 1965. 
Now, the assassination took place in the Audubon. Mm -hmm. It involved individuals who had had some history as members of the Nation of mm -hmm. Islam. But you also have to understand that the Nation of Islam at that time was thoroughly infiltrated. So I guess the question would become, mm -hmm. who were the people that perhaps had a reason to assassinate mm -hmm. him? And as we look at the various theories about why he was assassinated, uh, as Evans was saying in his book, Judas Factor, we'd have to look at motive, mm -hmm. uh, means, and opportunity. So on, the, on that basis, I think that the intelligence community uh, had a motive, uh, mm -hmm. organized crime had a motive, mm -hmm. and the Nation of Islam. So it's mm -hmm. difficult to say with certainty uh, who actually uh, mm -hmm. caused this. But we, there are three people that were identified, mm -hmm. uh, Norman, 3X, uh, Talmadge Hager mm -hmm. um, and uh, Thomas 15X mm -hmm. and they were all connected with either the, the mosque in Harlem or with the New Jersey mosque mm -hmm. uh, in New Jersey uh, uh, New, in, in, in the New mm -hmm. Jersey area mm -hmm. and so these were the people that went to court Mm -hmm. They were tried, found guilty, and sentenced to life in prison. Mm -hmm. Very good. So. And, and, and of course, uh, uh, Dr. Baldwin, over the last uh, minute and a half here we have here, mm -hmm. uh, what did, how did Dr. King uh, react to the assassination of, uh, Martin, uh, well, of Malcolm X? King was in L.A. Uh, for a press conference and some speeches when the news actually got to him. And he responded at that point saying that the assassination of Malcolm X was very unfortunate because it robbed the world of what he called a potential great leader, mm -hmm. a potentially great leader. So King was very disturbed. He sent a telegram to Malcolm's wife, mm -hmm. Betty Shabazz, expressing his sorrow and sympathy mm -hmm. and, and saying essentially that while he disagreed with Malcolm on certain issues, mm -hmm. uh, he th always thought that he was a person who was quite interested, quite devoted to the struggle. Now, in terms of the King assassination, there are basically two, uh, two schools of thought. Mm -hmm. uh, one, of course, is the, the lone assassin theory, mm -hmm. that James Earl Ray alone uh, committed the murder. Then you have the conspiracy theory, mm -hmm. which holds that uh, there were uh, forces of government were involved, the intelligence community, mm -hmm. uh, local police officials in Memphis, mm -hmm. perhaps organized crime. Mm -hmm. uh, these are two different theories of the assassination, mm -hmm. but ha Dr. L.A.D. mentioned something that I think is very important, and that is the fact that the two men were coming together, mm -hmm. uh, I think, proved that they were becoming even more of a threat. Okay, and Dr. Baldwin, let us uh, have this commercial break, and after this, we'll come back and we'll allow you to pick up at that point of mm -hmm. trying to bring these two individuals together, and that will allow Dr. L.A.D. to sort of end it for us mm -hmm. today. We'll be back with our audience following this short commercial break. again is the assassination